least you match. Huh? What do you mean I match? Your hat matches your... How? The blue. And the blue. This is tan, baby. Blue letters. Oh, okay. Alright guys, welcome back today. Today we're going to do something a little different. Um, it's cold outside, it's been raining for the last three or four days. Uh, I think the temperature is around 38, 39 degrees with the wind blowing 10 to 15 miles an hour. Uh, we're going to stay inside today and I'm going to show you something. I'm going to tell you a little background on me. I have compound bow hunted for the majority of my life. I've killed 75% more deer with a compound bow. And uh, Years ago I bought my two sons crossbows for Christmas and uh, I got tied in the crossbow world. Um, how fast they are, how accurate they are out there around 80, 100 yards. And you know, you think you don't get an opportunity that far if the conditions are right. And uh, I've noticed throughout the years I've lost that um, desire to bow hunt. And that's what I'm known for. My friends who know me know I bow hunt and I kill deer with bows. But uh, I told my wife this past bow season I was gonna get back into bow hunting. I'm gonna give me another compound. I'm a retired crossbow, and uh, I started out years ago with a uh, whitetail two when I was in high school. Then I moved to an Oneida Eagle, and I bought a Screaming Eagle. I had that, and I put 80 pound limbs on it, and I kept it about six years. And then I bought a Mach Flight 4. Mach Flight 4, PSE, pulling 92 pounds. And that thing was fast. It was fastest thing around. And uh, then I went to Carbons, and I kept it for nine, ten years. And then I went to go something smaller and lighter and quieter, less poundage because I got a little age on me. And I bought the uh, Jennings Buckmaster uh, G2. And it was a quiet bow. I just didn't care for the, I think it was 31, 32 inch axle axle. And I'm used to a longer bow because of the Oneidas and the Mock Flight. And uh, so I sold it to my brother and I bought a Bowtech Samson. If anybody knows a Bowtech Samson, 80 pounds right out of the box. And, uh, I shot it for years, and then when I bought those crossbows for my sons, I sold it like a fool. I wish I had it today, and uh, so I ordered me something new, but this is the crossbow, which is a Barnett Raptor. Um, it's a FX3 Pro, shoots 385 feet per second, and I've killed some deer with it, but crossbows... You lose the um, the adrenaline rush. You you lose the um, I, I I can't explain it. You bow hunters know what I'm talking about. This I can give this to my wife right now, and she can kill a deer. If she can shoot a gun, she can shoot this and kill a deer. So we're gonna retire this. Like I said, the Barnett Raptor FX3 Pro, shooting 385 feet per second, and my new bow is a bear bow. The first bow I had was a bear bow. The last bow I'm going to have is a bear bow. And I bought this from Mike's Archery who is on uh, YouTube. Y'all check him out. Mike's Archery on YouTube. And uh, the bow I bought was I have it open. I haven't seen it so it might be broke or tore up. This is live. best light in my house um, but you can see it go on YouTube on Mike's Archery check it out this is one awesome looking bow man it is light it shoots 340 feet per second 70 pounds and I can't wait to shoot it guys but get ready this uh, this fall when bow season starts because it's gonna be a lot of bow hunting videos I'm gonna get back to my old self Bud Banks and uh, I hope y'all like this little short video um, I know I'm not telling you anything about the bow I can do that later on but like I said it just got in the mail today and, and I'm eager to shoot it so I guess until next time later
Well, I got that camera. 